यूज सुपर पोजिशन थेरम टू फाइंड द वोल्टेज वी इन द नेटवर्क सोन इन फिगर वी हैव टू फाइंड दिस वोल्टेज यूजिंग सुपर पोजिशन थेरम सोल्यूशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल फाइंड इम्पिडन्स ऑफ दिस ब्रांच एंड इम्पिडन्स ऑफ दिस ब्रांच so this will be let's say this is z1 and this is z2 now z1 is equal to 3 plus j4 थ्री प्लस जे फोर इट इज इन रेक्टेंगुलर फॉर्म वी कैन कन्वर्ट दिस इन टू पोलर फॉर्म सो इन पोलर फॉर्म दिस विल बी मोड देन कॉम्प्लेक्स मोड सो थ्री प्लस आई इंटू फोर शिफ्ट टू देन थ्री सो इट इज फाइव एट एन एंगल ऑफ फिफ्टी थ्री फाइव एट एन एंगल ऑफ फिफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट वन थ्री डिग्री ओ होम सो दिस इज द वैल्यू फॉर जेड वन देन जेड टू इज माइनस जे फोर जेड टू इज माइनस जे फोर सो माइनस आई इंटू फोर फिफ्ट टू थ्री इट इज फोर एट एन एंगल ऑफ माइनस नाइंटी डिग्री ओ होम दिस इज द वैल्यू फॉर जेड टू नाउ वी हैव टू यूज सुपर पोजिशन थेरम हेयर एंड दिस इज अ ए सी सर्किट बिकॉज इट कंटेन्स अ ए सी सोर्स नाउ वी विल कंसिडर फर्स्ट लेट से वी विल कंसिडर दिस करंट सोर्स फर्स्ट सो कंसिडर This 10 ampere, 10 at an angle of zero degree ampere current source, and turn off all other sources. Now, if we turn off. this voltage source this will be short circuited so we can replace this with a short circuit now here we can see this z1 and z2 are in parallel or we can use current division rule here let's say this is current i prime so we can find i prime using current division rule by using current division rule so i prime is equal to this current that is 10 at an angle of 0 degree into opposite branch resistance that is z2 and z2 is 4 at an angle of minus 90 degree divided by same 4 at an angle of Minus ninety degree, then plus. Here we can see we can use here rectangular form of this Z two that is minus J four, because addition and subtraction are better performed in rectangular form, and multiplication and division are better performed in polar form. So here in denominator we have to use addition. So we we will use rectangular form here. So minus J four, then plus. Z2 plus Z1 and Z1 is again in rectangular form. Z1 is 3 plus J4. So this will be 10 at an angle of 0 degree into 4 at an angle of minus 90 degree divided by. This will be. 
माइनस आई इंटू फोर देन प्लस थ्री देन प्लस आई इंटू फोर आई इंटू फोर प्लस थ्री प्लस आई इंटू फोर सो इट इज थ्री नाउ वी कैन डायरेक्टली सब्सटीट्यूट दिस वैल्यू इन कैलकुलेटर सो टेन एट एन एंगल ऑफ जीरो डिग्री दिस इज इन वन ब्रैकेट टेन मल्टीप्लाइड बाय इन ब्रैकेट फोर एट एन एंगल ऑफ माइनस नाइन्टी डिग्री डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री सो इट इज माइनस थर्टीन पॉइंट थर्टी थ्री माइनस थर्टीन पॉइंट थर्टी थ्री जे दिस इज द वैल्यू फॉर आई प्राइम इट इज इन रेक्टेंगुलर फॉर्म इन पोलर फॉर्म दिस विल बी शिफ्ट टू थ्री सो इट इज थर्टीन पॉइंट थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री एट एन एंगल ऑफ नाइंटी डिग्री एम पी आर दिस इज माइनस नाइंटी डिग्री थर्टीन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री एट एन एंगल ऑफ माइनस नाइंटी डिग्री एम पी आर दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आई प्राइम देन फ्रॉम दिस वी कैन फाइंड लेट से दिस इज वी प्राइम so v prime will be v prime will be equal to i into this i into z i prime into z1 so i prime into z1 now i prime is 13.33 into z1 z1 is 5 at an angle of This is thirteen point three three at an angle of minus ninety degree. Then into Z one is five at an angle of fifty three point one three degree. So this will be in one bracket thirteen point three three at an angle of minus ninety. multiplied by phi u at an angle of 53.13 bracket complete so it is 53.31 53.31 then minus this minus 39.99 we can write 40 so minus 40j minus 40j This is the value for v prime in rectangular form. Then in polar form, this will be fifty three point three one plus forty into i. Not plus; it is minus. Then shift two three. So it is sixty six point six four, sixty six point six four, at an angle of minus thirty six point eighty eight volt. This is the value of V prime. Then next we have to consider. Next we have to consider this voltage source fifty at an angle of ninety degree volt, and turn off. this current source so consider 50 at an angle of 90 degree voltage source and turn off all other sources now if we turn off this current source so this will be open circuit let's say this is i double prime and let's say according to the polarity of this voltage source let's say this is the direction of current let's say this is i double prime 
Now we can easily find this I double prime by using Ohm's law. So I double prime is equal to V by V by Z. So V here is 50 at an angle of 90 degree divided by Z. Now Z is Z1 plus Z2. Now Z1 plus Z2 will be 3 plus 3 plus J4 then plus this will be minus J4. So this will be cancelled. So what remains 50 at an angle of 90 degree divided by 3. This is the value of I double prime. I double prime is equal to 50 at an angle of 90 degree divided by 3. So it is 16 point 16.66 J. Now, ampere in polar form this will be shift to 3. So, it is 16.66 16 at an angle of 90 degree ampere. This is the value of I double prime. But we have to find this V double prime. V double prime will be equal to I double prime into Z1. I double prime into Z1. So I double prime is again 16.66 at an angle of 90 degree multiplied by Z1. Now Z1 is 5 at an angle of 5 at an angle of 53.13 degree. 5 at an angle of 53.13 degree. So this will be in one bracket 16.66 at an angle of 90 degree multiplied by 5 at an angle of 53. 0.13 so it is minus 66.63 minus 66.63 plus 49. we can replace this 49.98 by 50 directly so 50j now this is volt i double prime now in polar form this will be shift answer then shift to 3 so it is 83.3 point, 83 at an angle of 143.13 point, volt so this is the value of i double v double prime now Here we can see the direction for I double prime is downward and the direction for I prime is also downward. So we have to add both the voltages to get the value of this V. So V is equal to V prime plus V double prime. Now V prime is this is the value for V prime then plus V double prime. So here also we can see that we are doing here addition. So addition and subtraction are better performed in rectangular form. So we will take this value, this rectangular form value for addition of this V prime and V double prime. Then plus V 
so this will be 53.31 53.31 then minus 40 into i this is in one bracket then plus in bracket minus 66.63 plus 50 into i 50 into i bracket complete so it is minus 13.32 minus 13.32 plus 10j this is the value for v also the unit is volt this is in rectangular form now in polar form this will be shift to 3 so it is 16.65 16.65 at an angle of 143.10 volt so what we have to find we have to find voltage v in the network using superposition theorem so using superposition theorem the value of voltage v is 16.65 at an angle of 43.10 volt this is the final answer.